What's up guys, Lonnie Sands here, and yes, it is another very exciting episode of Learn How to Edit Stuff. Back once again with the How to Edit Like Zach King tip. Today we're gonna be taking a look at how to change the color of your clothing. Zach King has a video where he takes a balloon and he puts it against his shirt and he pops it and his shirt changes to the color of the balloon. This is not witchcraft. It's just color correction. So if you're like, I don't really like this blue shirt, I want it to be red, or I want it to be green, or I want it to be yellow, or I want it to be a back to blue, you can do that with just some color correction. Now I don't recommend doing this in Adobe Premiere Pro or After Effects. We're actually gonna be using DaVinci Resolve 14. It is free, yes, free for both Windows and Mac users. You can download it. It's a Blackmagic Design software program. It's called DaVinci Resolve 14. Go and download it and install it right now for free before we jump into the lesson. Now I've done some tutorials on DaVinci Resolve before, boom, YouTube card. Go check out those videos if you want, but I will walk you through everything you'll need to know to do the shirt color change effect. Red, back to blue. You can do it so simply, I promise. Download, install DaVinci Resolve 14, open it up because we are getting started right now. All right, boys and girls, after you download and install DaVinci Resolve, go ahead and open the program. And once it's open, it will give you a dialogue that looks something like this. You may have to set up the program for the first time. Just follow the on-screen instructions and answer the questions to the best of your ability. So what we're gonna do is double click on Untitled Project and it will open up DaVinci Resolve. Apparently GeForce Experience in-game overlay is ready to record my screen. Thanks NVIDIA. I already have a program for that. Anyway, first thing we're going to do is uh, Control S to save your project and we're just going to call this Shirt Change. So now that we've saved our project, we're going to come down here to the Media tab and we're going to navigate to the hard drive where your footage is. Shirt Change Clip, there it is right there. I'm going to right click on it and add into Media Pool. And we're going to click change for the project settings and it will automatically set your DaVinci project settings to the clip settings. So it's at 1920 by 1080 now, thanks DaVinci. And now what I'm going to do is right click on my clip down here and go to new timeline using selected clips. Uh, you can name it whatever you want. I'm just going to keep it timeline one, hit create. And then this little icon down here means you guys are ready to move over to the edit tab. You can come over into the edit tab and the only two tools you will really need are the cut tool and the arrow tool. Very similar to Premiere. We are going to cut our clip where we want the shirt change to happen. Like, I don't really like the blue shirt. I want it to be... So I'm basically going to cut the clip as soon as I let the shirt go. So right about there is good. Red. Or I want it to be... Green. Cut. Green. Or I want it to be... Yellow. Cut. Yellow. Or I want it to be a back... And back to blue, cut. So we're basically making a cut on the timeline every time we want the shirt to change colors. And that's all we need to do with the little cut tool in the edit window. Now we're gonna move on to the color window. We're just moving left to right here in DaVinci Resolve. So we're gonna come over to our color window and we are gonna to come to our first clip in the timeline and we are going to select the color for the shirt, but we're going to do it on a different node. Now DaVinci is a node based system, which basically means I can add as many nodes as I want for the color correction process. And each node, I can do something different to it and all of the nodes affect each other. Again, watch some videos on DaVinci Resolve. You can watch my previous videos on DaVinci Resolve. I'm not gonna do a full in-depth tutorial. We're just gonna show you how to do the shirt change. So let's keep going. So on my second note, I'm gonna come down to my little color picker drop tab thing here. And I'm just going to select the color of the shirt. Now you'll notice that up here, the little icon changes, and that is to show you the highlighted color that you have selected. It predetermines all of these things based on the eyedropper, and what we can do is actually hit Shift H on the keyboard, and it will highlight the selected area for the color. Now what you guys are gonna wanna do is mess with all of these parameters so that we start to fill in the color really nicely. So I'm actually gonna open up the width just a little bit here. So we're incorporating more blues. By the way, you're gonna to wanna to wear a shirt that has a very loud color that's not red or anything close to skin tone color. If you watch the Zach King video, he's wearing a purple shirt. Nothing else in the scene is purple, just like I'm wearing this shirt. Nothing else in the scene is this color. My skin color is not anything close to this. You're gonna to wanna to wear a loud shirt so that you don't start incorporating skin tones and get a funky result. So use a loud colored shirt. Pro tip for this. So I'm gonna open up the width to incorporate more blues here. And I'm gonna start messing with my saturation, making sure not to get any of the chair here. So I'm actually gonna kill the softening on this guy. You can see if you raise this or lower it, it will soften your colors here, but I'm gonna kill it completely. And I'm just gonna move it down just so I'm not getting any of the chair. And we're gonna bump up the saturation a bit and the luminance. As you can see, I moved down the luminance and it starts to fill in the darker areas of the armpits of the shirt. And then the other two things, once you start dialing all this in, is the clean black and clean white. Now, if I crank the clean black, you'll see that it starts to kind of like feather in on the shadows a bit. And if I do the clean white, it will start to feather outwards towards the lighter or whiter parts of the color spectrum here. 
What I get here is gonna be different than what you guys get at home. I'm in a different environment. I have different lighting. I'm wearing a different colored shirt than you guys are probably using. So my biggest tip for you guys here would be to spend a little bit of time making sure that you really dial this in to get a perfect result. All right, I'm feeling pretty comfortable with what I have going on here. It looks like a nice clean key on my shirt. So what I'm gonna do now is hit Shift H to go back to normal here. And I'm going to right click on this frame and go to grab still. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna copy all the data that we did on our nodes and bring it into a still over here that we can basically use it as a copy and paste mechanism on the other clips on our timeline. So I'm gonna go to my second clip in the timeline here where I wanna change the shirt to red. And I'm gonna drag and drop this little still image directly onto this first node here. And it will copy our color correction data that we did. There's the shirt and it's looking pretty nicely. So right here, I'm gonna start messing with my color parameters down here. So we have lows, mids, highs, and overall color adjustments. And down here we have like the actual like brightness of it. So if you see, I crank this down, the shirt in the midtones actually starts becoming darker. So I can make it a dark blue just based on adjusting the midtones and the highlights here. But we're not actually gonna do that yet. We're gonna start doing our color correction version of it first. So I'm gonna start pulling these up into the red tones because red is the first color up in the trick and we'll start just kind of pulling it up into like the red kind of pink area and then I'm going to start adjusting the mids and the highs to just kind of darken it a little bit to give us kind of more of the result that we're looking for and uh, we're getting somewhere here all right there we go starting to get nice and red there we go looking good on the red front now I have a little logo on my shirt that you can see here and it's kind of like bleeding into the logo a little bit I recommend getting a shirt that doesn't have a logo on the front it will make your life so much easier I just don't have a shirt that's this color that doesn't have a logo on it sorry not sorry all right I'm liking the color of this red so I'm going to move on to the next color in the spectrum which I believe is green and again click on the clip and just drag and drop over here to get the color correction and now we can start making this green i'm going to pull this down into the greens in the mids and the greens in the highlights already getting a nice result here maybe drop down the highs a bit and the mids a bit to get a darker green looking good for me and last but not least the yellow again drag and drop the nodes and we're going to start making this yellow so kind of pull it up into the yellow orangish area over here looking pretty good oh oh all right Thumbnails are looking pretty good. Let's watch it back through. So if you're like, I don't really like this blue shirt. I want it to be red or I want it to be green or I want it to be yellow or I want it to be a back to blue. You can do that. All right, guys, looking pretty good. Now for me, you know, you can come in here and you can zoom in a little bit and you can see some slight imperfections with the blue bleed. If I were you or if I were me, I would go in and kind of like adjust your clean blacks and your clean whites a little bit and just kind of see if you can incorporate a little more or less of that bleed. It really just takes a little bit of time and a little bit of effort and you can get a much cleaner result than I did here. I was obviously doing it for the sake of time for this tutorial, but I recommend spending a little bit more time in it than we did today. It is not black magic, it is color correction. But Da Vinci is made by black magic design, oh my God. So now that we've got the result that we're looking for, everything's looking pretty good. Let's go ahead and export this guy and get it out of Da Vinci. So we're gonna come down here to the deliver tab and click in here and it will automatically default with some settings up here. You're gonna wanna make sure that it's custom and we're gonna export in QuickTime format at DNXHR444 12 bit color. Whatever the default is that Da Vinci gives you is probably good for you. 1920 by 1080, 23976, perfect. We're gonna render it out as a single clip we're gonna go over to file and we're gonna call it something so shirt change CC and we're gonna come up to browse and we're going to find a file location so we're gonna to navigate to where I want the file to be saved click OK and we're gonna click add to render queue and we'll put it in the render queue and I will hit start render completed and we are done boys and girls see that wasn't that hard and you just did your own cool zach king color change shirt tutorial changing it from blue to red to green to yellow back to blue we did it we did it together i am so proud of you now the same theories and principles apply to any color correction if you have somebody's shirt that you just want to change in a normal scene you don't have to do rapid color change you can do the same exact things and kind of highlight certain colors and shift the colors to your own whim you know editing is very subjectively creative you can kind of do whatever you want, whatever you think is cool, go on and do it. I'm just trying to give you the knowledge and the tools to help you succeed in this cutthroat industry we call post-production. DaVinci Resolve is an insanely powerful color correction program. It's also a pretty powerful editing program as well, and it is completely 100% free. You can edit in this, you can do audio mixing in this, you can do insane color correction in this, and you don't have to pay a dollar. So I definitely recommend checking it out. Blackmagic Design DaVinci Resolve 14 
It is an amazing program. Well, that about does it for me, guys. I really hope you enjoyed the how to edit like Zach King shirt change tutorial video red back to blue. Make sure that you subscribe to the channel and also check out the last video that you missed. We do them here weekly. As you know, I learn how to edit stuff. I didn't upload a video last week. Stop messaging me about it. I know it was New Year's. You know, I was like hung over for a couple days. Don't drink, ladies and gentlemen. Red back to blue. Subscribe. Check out the last video that you missed. And I will see you next week, kids.